right, since today is uh, Psychology Tuesday, Trader Tuesday, I uh, thought I'd talk a little bit about <clears throat> the art of doing nothing. So last night we had a, a, a move again on the European Open that took us to a new high. New high for the year, 2116, took out, uh, you know, all stops. It was very quick. It was, it was, it was and you can see it. I'm going to just bring it up here really quickly. Uh, if you get out your magnifying glass, you can see the order. There it is. Um, not significant volume, but enough to take out all the offers above. So uh, that took out the 12. We went traded all the way to the 14. We're trading at 13 right now after running uh, up to 21.16. And, and in all seriousness, this is a market that I just don't feel uh, needs to be over traded. It's very thin. It's dangerous uh, to the upside right now, meaning it's not it's going up, but it's not really going up until uh, we break out above 21. In my book, it's got to be a Friday close over 21.40 uh, before this is off to the races. Uh, when that happens, when we are above 21.40 uh, this week, next week, uh, six months, then this thing will have its day and have its run to 2,500 possibly. Uh, but until then, I think we're just uh, in the process of forming uh, tops. So what do you do if you got a position? Let's say you sold last night at 21.16, 21.14. Uh, you know, you were layered in there. You covered it. Uh, you're, you're selling again back here at 21.13. There's really not, not much else you can do. It's a very tight range. We're in a four-point range, five-point range for the day. It's inside of the overnight range. So no new information has come today. Without new information, you really can't trade. What's unusual is you have uh, you have the, the Dow making new highs uh, again this morning, but it's not, again, off to the races. You've got the NASDAQ lagging. It's green, but barely. Uh, it's actually dragging on the bottom more than the others are. So, which is strange in itself because Apple uh, a bit ago was up a dollar. Uh, you can look at it now, but so when you have kind of this um, feeling that the market is confused, that means traders are confused. That means all correlate, you know, correlations have been out of whack for a long time, but we're, we're at a point now where things are so out of whack that you get these types of moves. And they're usually uh, a reason I wanted to bring up Apple. And even Apple, these weird spikes that it's had the last couple of days, you can see them in the chart. I don't know what they mean. I don't know, um, you know what they're probing and testing up there, but they are. So I wouldn't be surprised if we traded up there in, in normal normal market now. Um, but again, don't overtrade in markets like this. Sit on your hands, uh, relax, wait for true new information. If you're a scalper, go ahead. This is what you do, I guess. But uh, for me, this is a, a time to really pause, refresh, and, and wait for the right opportunities via uh, new information and new pricing. So new pricing over new time is new information. And that's really all you can do. You can't, I'm not, you know, nobody can predict except uh, to, to, to say where you are today. Now on the uh, S&P, we're still way out of value. Now uh, about 20 points, uh, 95 is the one week value. And you can see again, the stretch here from 82 Friday of the jobs all the way up to 16, that's uh, 34 points, over a percent and a half in a day and a half. And uh, we have expiration uh, next week. We have uh, quad witching, so we've got options, futures, everything expiring on the uh, on the indices. Uh, so uh, again, a very tumultuous time. And then we have uh, on the same day, Fed uh, meeting next Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So the uh, the rate announcement, which nobody's expecting a rate increase now after the jobs. And maybe this is a reason why we're, again, still going up. Um, and and then the rate increase still comes and they, they whack the, 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 the turd out of it. So take it easy. Don't overtrade. And um, it's, it, that's, again, one of the most difficult things. I know Josh has been talking about in a couple of writings, but I wanted to address it today. Uh, I've, I'm, again, traded a little bit overnight. The, the night moves thanks to Bob Seeger, are uh, better than the, the day moves almost. So nobody bought that spike down yesterday. Uh, you know, everybody sold into yellow and 
but then nobody bought this. That was a strange looking chart all, all around. So don't beat yourself up. This is not an easy, easy market to uh, behave in normally.